Hey, it's Corksy. We're on the set of The Chair with someone I'm a huge fan of. Roddy, Rowdy Roddy Piper, if I say it wrong. I, I get scared. He's a big guy. Very cool. Nice to meet you, by the way. And congratulations for being part of this movie. How did you get involved in the film? Um, I was just wandering on the street, you know. No, a car pulled up? Friend, yeah, a friend of mine, uh, Rick Bassman, asked me if I'd come in and uh, read the script. And, you know, everybody's putting their heart into it. That's all I ask for. People are working hard, man. All yeah. you, for sure. Yeah. Everybody, uh, I, I don't like playing unless everybody's all in. Yeah. All in. So I uh, read the script, pretty twisted and sick. <laughs> you know, and you're so, kind of that way, right? Right? Typecasting. <laughs> uh, you've done a lot of horror films, right? You, you seem to pop up occasionally in horror films. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's kind of a fun thing, right? You get to play it, it's fun. I, like, I just did a film, I uh, played Oscar Wilde. And I like that. That's well, interesting. Yeah. Did you was, study up on him? Oh yeah, well? yeah. I did two years in prison. Uh, it, it was all about uh, absinthe. A B S I N T. Absinthe to drink. Yes. I've had absinthe. I never have. Oh. Yeah. That's oh, I had Strong. real. Sh oh yeah. Girls go nuts on it. I mean, they're like and become an animal. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Did they My do bad. it? It's a sugar cube, and it's like a it's bar. Green. It's green. And so the thing was, the movie is called Green Fairy. That's the Green Fairy, is it? Yeah, yeah, and it went through Oscar Wilde and wow. Vincent Van Gogh, et cetera, et cetera. So I just did that, but the chair was interesting from the perspective of the warden to sick puppy. And this one character that I'm playing, mm -hmm. it was a challenge to put some colors to him. Because, mm -hmm. you know, he's just a mean-ass guard. Mm -hmm. And uh, you usually try to get some redeeming qualities in him. <laughs> Do we like maybe. him? What's your character's name? Uh, Murphy. Murphy. Uh, yeah, I named him Joel. I needed the first name. Uh, <laughs> I was really great of then. Do you prep uh, for this? Oh, absence, yeah. <laughs> yeah. His name Joe. <laughs> Do you prep for him? Hey, spend some time. You haven't spent any time in jail ever, have you? Well, just overnight. Overnight. You know, like, yeah, everybody's been it's overnight. Just with donuts and coffee. <laughs> I was actually in Hollywood jail. It was a real blast. Yeah. Now, I have to ask you this. Obviously, you've been many years since the wrestling years, but do you ever dip back? Do you ever bring you back and do stuff? I don't really follow it closely now, but they, do you still come back? And I was just you know? there uh, around December the 20th. I just did Raw. Wow. I'm going to WrestleMania. I don't know what number it is. What's this WrestleMania? 31? 3,000. <laughs> yeah, I was at the first one. I, I feel every minute of it. 31? Well, yeah. You, you were in an era. I mean, I'm trying to think of, was it... Who you followed? It was a, well, gorgeous George was gorgeous way before. George. Was after him. That's yeah. why you came in. Well, I started in '69. Wow, um, you look pretty good, man. <laughs> Thank you. Well, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, after gorgeous George, like in 19. Blasco, what was his name? Uh, uh, Freddie Blassie. Blassie, yeah. Yeah, what an asshole. Uh, and yeah, for my first time. Did you fight him for real ever? Like? I tell you what, I did. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was 19 years old, I was in Los Angeles. Well, I had my first main event mm -hmm. uh, in the Olympic Auditorium, and the McMahon family, senior, called me and said they want me in Madison Square Garden, sure. which is unheard of. It's the most prestigious venue yeah. in the world. Yeah. Well, it, you know, there's a lot of good ones. Well, I would hold it. So uh, I came fifth in the world playing the bagpipes when I was about 14 in competition. And, uh, Brought me into New York, Madison Square Garden, and I put my backpacks down. When I came to the garden, Freddie Blasky came up because I came on a Spanish channel mm -hmm. into New York, and he hit me with his cane. He goes, You know, you pencil neck geek, you know, <laughs> yeah, we don't want the rest of them. Captain Will Bono pinched my cheek, you know, ah, Faisal, get the fuck out of here, we don't want you here. <laughs> Just rest of love. And it's my time to go in, and like promoters, they called me Boy Wonder at the time. You know, from Germany, Japan, all came to see this Boy Wonder. I got in the ring, and I said, Lower the microphone. I told the announcer, uh, there's 24, you know, Madison Square Garden is just 24,000 people in with knives. It's really all it is. And I tell them to tell them to be quiet so I can play the Scottish National Anthem on bagpipes. And I was you know, well, 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 I'm so confident. Like a good two and a half minutes went by. And the promoters are kind of like, I, I'm, I got it. And boom, it's time. I put up my bagpipes and nothing come out. Okay, and I'm like, Changing the spark plugs, the oil, <laughs> nothing come out. And I dropped the bagpipes and I went after my guy. Uh, I got back to the dressing room, literally. And they brought me in a limousine, don't call us, we'll call you. Send me back in the cab. Wow. And uh, that's when I got re really mean. And 
Freddie Blassie, when they said they didn't want me, they meant it. And they shoved paper up all the three drones and the mm -hmm. channel so they wouldn't work. Oh, that was took me 10 years to get back there. Did you know that right at the moment that someone had messed with it? Uh, I, I didn't understand. You know, a little bit of pressure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, Ooh, that's and I nasty. got the guy to wrestle, the bagpipes was. Didn't figure it out. And, uh, didn't figure it out until a couple of days. So, what, did you ever fight him? Wind up fighting? Uh, nice nah, old. Nah. Yeah. He could have just, just beat, beat him with his crutch or something. No, nah, you know what? I just never said anything. How do you stay you're, you know, in shape all these years? I mean, you continue to work out or just from. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. Four or five days in the gym. Yeah. Takes me about two hours. If I don't, I think I'll seize up, you know? Yeah, all the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it oiled. Yeah. And yeah. there's a wild yeah. scene I hear. Uh, I haven't heard all the details, but there's kind of a fight scene in a cell that took place the other day, and I heard it got, yeah. kind, of, got kind of wild. You're yeah. going to have to watch the chair for this scene. It's going to be yeah. pretty, pretty crazy. Yeah, Anything else coming up? Wow, corpsey. I don't normally look like this. I got my teeth knocked out in the scene, well, so, you know. you look great. Uh, nice thank you. Uh, uh, thank you. <laughs> you know? Do you have anything else you want to, you have a website we can promote and you sell, uh, Sure, you know, roddyroddyfiber.com. Uh, Bless yeah. your heart. Man. No, that's what it's about, you know, man. Twitter, we got to sell stuff. I had to get, because people rip off my name, so I got R <laughs> underscore Roddy <laughs> underscore Piper. So. You got a Twitter, too? That's a Twitter. That's a Twitter. That's a Twitter. And, and what other? Facebook? Instagram, uh. You sell stuff, T-shirts? Yeah, I was named. I had a cool thing happened. Uh, um, the WWE named me the greatest villain in the history of the sport. Mm -hmm. That's pretty awesome. If you go on the sixth floor in Madison Square mm -hmm. Garden, they got a hole in my boot set. Who do you admire today in the sport? Are there guys that you, you know, I don't want to say guys you don't like because that starts no, with thing, but who, who do you? Who do you respect? I mean, did you know The Rock and some of these guys? And did they give you your respect for who you are? The Rock, um, like during his tenure, uh, I wasn't there at that mm -hmm. time, but he came up to me, uh, I think it was the last WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. I don't know place, he just come and hug me and says, I want to pay my respects. You were my nice. hero when I was a kid, you're the original gangster. You know, um, nice. they all are very, very kind. I don't right. have anybody. Uh, anybody that answers the bell, I got all the respect in the world for them. Yeah. They all are. Uh, I was the youngest in the world ever, history, in history. I was 15 when I started pro full time. It's, it's against the law now. So uh, they all know that, and so they give me uh, kindness. Well, I we uh, we res I love respect Roddy, Roddy Hunter. <laughs> we want to see the, the yeah. chair with go. this guy, yeah. acting chops. And your movie, and we'll all have a little absinthe. So stay yeah, tuned go. for more with Roddy on the set of You've the chair. Oh, stop it. I love it. Oh, ouch.